Okay, so welcome back to episode 8 of the Calamity Terraria series. So, uh, in this episode, we're going to start off by going to the Abyss um, to get some uh, new weapons and things like that. Uh, there are a couple of good weapons that we could use, and then we're going to be fighting the Slime God, and hopefully uh, beating the Wall of Flesh and getting into hard mode today. So next episode, we'll start off with some of the hard mode bosses. Okay, so we should probably get, um, uh, I think it's Calamity, um, Sulfur Skin Potion. Um, maybe a Sunshine Potion and maybe a, uh, Danger Sense Potion as well, and of course, Gill and Flippers. There we go. Okay. Also, yeah, I, th I don't think I've showed it off yet, but uh, I built the um, Desert House off camera, which I have a uh, clip of, which I'll probably show, like a little, uh, little clip, a little snippet of that clip on the screen right now while I'm uh, heading towards the um, Sunken Seas, or not the Sunken Seas, the Abyss, rather, which I think is, yeah, on the, the left side here. Okay, so there should be chests as we go deeper down. Um, and this is also the biome where you get the... Uh, Okay, there's like, I think this is like a little mini lab over here. This is also the biome where you get the ore in hard mode. It's one of the three ores that you need later on. I don't remember the name of it. It's like Scoria or something like that. But, um, yeah. But yeah, you can get uh, loads of stuff from the crates down here. There are, like I said, there are a few mage weapons that we can get that are really good, but there's also, like, gear and whatnot that you can find. Okay. So this is one of the chests. Um, what is this? Causes most ranged weapons to... Okay, we don't really need this. But we get more, uh, sulfur skin potion, which is nice. Alright, we have another chest here. Strange orb. Okay, light pet. Oh, torrential tear. Hmm, still no mage uh, weapon. Okay, still no uh, weapon. Yes, this is what I wanted. We got our gold back as well, which is nice. Okay, we're just gonna reforge this real quick. Mm hmm. Okay, so for the spawner, we need uh, 40 um, bladed gel and 40 um, crimtain blocks, which we should have plenty of. Okay, so it turns out we don't, so we're just going to buy some. Yeah. Wait, there's two of them. And we bought ten more than we needed. Okay, we're good. Oh wait, we have the Mystic Frog. Easy slime. Easy time slime, alright. Okay, so I've extended the bridge, um, the platforms, so we can go out a bit further with this boss, because you do need to jump around a bit for this one. I got all the potions, so let's just buff up and just start the fight. Okay, so, um, I think, like, about halfway through the fight, there's, like, uh, a thing that uh, flies up in the sky. Uh, 
above. I don't remember. Yeah. D this way, you definitely just have to really focus on dodging. And they will not jump on you. Okay, so. Projectiles. I'm gonna probably stay focused because, as you can probably tell, I really can't. It's, it's difficult to focus on speaking when you're trying to dodge all these projectiles and uh, not get squished by these slimy boys. But uh, quickly, as you can see, um, this weapon is very effective at uh, damaging these bosses um, because of all the little um, projectiles that you have. Yeah, um, so we're almost done with the fight. This fight really isn't too difficult, even in Master Mode, to be honest. Um, but you, you, you definitely have to, like, pay attention uh, closely to the fight, which is, again, why I haven't really been talking much. Because there are projectiles in the fight, and they do, these guys do jump around a lot, and they definitely, they definitely do a lot of damage if you get caught up. And they can just tank. You, you can't really tank. I, I kind of like how like, they're similar to the King Slime fight in the sense that, um, okay, I think we, did we do it? Yeah, there we go. I kind of like how they're similar to the King Slime fight in the sense that they um, get smaller and smaller as you uh, damage them more. And I also like how um, they're unique in the sense that they split in two once you, once you defeat the first, um, the larger one, the larger variant of the two. Um, they both each. Uh, it, it's kind of like a mixture of the King Slime fight with the twins, uh, if that makes sense. Because they, they break into two, which is kind of like their unique thing uh, once you kill one of each. And then there's two of them that you have to manage, kind of like the twins, and then they get smaller and smaller, like the Slime King. Um, yeah, a very interesting fight. And uh, one that is very, very nostalgic. I remember specifically recording the episode um, that I had in my old uh, deleted Calamity series, uh, where I defeated the, uh, the Slime God. And uh, I don't remember what weapon I used. I, do, I, I don't think it was a mage um, playthrough. Uh, okay, we have the Mana pol Polarizer. This is actually a good uh, accessory that I think we're going to be using. We have the Crim Slime, uh, Crim Slime Staff, which is cool. Uh, let me actually get rid of the little skeleton. Uh, does this thing fly around? Yeah, it does, okay. And I think if you have, um, two of them, then you'll have both of the little, uh, slime gods. Okay, so we also have this Purified Gel, which we have 51 of. Um... We needed this for the Knight's Ray, which I might use against the Wall of Flesh. I'll either use this weapon that we're currently using, or the the Knight's Ray, which we could also try. I mean, we might, we might as well make it. Okay, so I've crafted a uh, an Obsidian Insta Bridge, which I think they just recently added this like little preview that you can see. Um, yes, yeah, so let's just place it down, and then... Uh, yeah, just fight the wall of flesh because there's um, there's no point in making the night ray because it's it's not 
the greatest, and I'm pretty sure we can just do it um, with this, the weapon we currently have. Plus, on top of that, um, it, it requires like um, the magic uh, missile and a few other things that I don't have, and I, I, I don't really feel like getting them because, again, like I said, it's not like the most useful weapon when we can just use the one we currently have, which is actually really good for the wall flesh, um, considering how the boss is designed. But um, let's just buff up and just get right into the fight. Okay. Okay, let's let's go to the right. So we're just going to go down and immediately uh, reforge it if we do. Okay, we got both of them, actually. Um, that is good. Uh, we're going to get both of them to um, mythical, if we can. Uh, we got 46 more gold from the boss, which is actually really good. So let's see if we can actually... They're both deadly as well. Mythical right off the bat, nice. I don't recall which one is better... Um, I feel like the Eldritch Tome was the better one. I don't recall exactly, though. But we're going to use both of them, and hopefully this will help us uh, beat the Wall of Flesh. That's actually just... I'm just going to actually just sell all of this stuff, because we have plenty of Purified Gel. And we already have all of that. So let's just go grab some potions real quick, and then I'll meet you back uh, where we can summon the wall of flesh in hell at the very right side of the world do we even have the guide okay we do brian it is unfortunately time for you to die soon okay so we are basically uh at the end of the um bridge now so let's just buff up summon our other summoner because we have a summoner potion as well and just drop the guide Okay, so this weapon's already doing a bit more damage. The thing about this, the Uttridge Tome, is that you have to kind of be close. So it's just not going to work for this boss. Yeah. 
No. Yes. Oh, dude, that was so close. All right, so let's see what we get uh, from the bag. All right, we have the demon heart, which is always good. Now we have seven accessory slots. Uh, a summoner emblem. Emblem, we don't really need that. Um, magic. Uh, the laser rifle could be good, and obviously we have the pwn hammer, which I haven't upgraded my hammer since the start of the, the series, so we finally have the pwn hammer. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing anything else this episode um i think i'm just gonna end it here and the next episode we will um continue i don't think we're gonna use either of these right now maybe we'll keep the eldritch tome uh we can use these to, uh, to make upgrades um later on but yeah anyhow i hope you enjoyed the video have a great day see ya